us to be a part of this tribute. We first thought we were going to ask us to sing, which normally would be fine. We're both very musical and sing all the time. But what we can do and what we know, what no one can do is sing like our dad. Our dad loved performing, loved it his whole life. But in the last 15 years or so, it really became the thing he lived for. He often said that when he walked on stage and hit that first note, any and all bad feelings would simply melt away. It was only the kind of magic he believed in, and we're certain many of you out there tonight are true believers as well. As great a talent as he was, he was always hard on himself, always finding more faults than favor with his own work. But the overwhelming amount of love and support that's been shown since his passing is undeniable. Blues music is often born of suffering, but our dad proved it also could be healing by sharing it with others. Whether he was playing with the Tarzan Brothers or singing with the Ron Spencer Band, he loved being on stage. And he always loved performing at the Great Salt City Blues Concert. Some of you may not know this, but this show is traditionally held the day after Christmas, which has also happens to be our dad's birthday. Wow. Happy birthday, Mark. of such great music. We're sorry we can't attend the show tonight, but wanted to send along these words and say thank you to all of you for being here and continuing to celebrate our dad's life and music. Happy birthday, Dad. We love you. Michael and Catherine Gibson. 